Good evening everyone, I'm meteorologist Adam Bell and we have a lot of snow to deal with and even some freezing rain as well across central Indiana right now. Of course, the big concern this upcoming thunderstorm season is always tornadoes. Last week's touchdown of an F2 tornado caught many people by surprise. That's why this is a good time to be thinking about where you would go. Good morning, I'm meteorologist Adam Bell and this is one of those days that we as meteorologists absolutely love because it's a beautiful day. No one's complaining to us about temperatures are expected to drop below freezing across many areas tonight. That's why a freeze warning has been issued. Of course, we're urging residents to bring in the pets and the plants yeah. tonight. A lot of snow and ice falling across central Indiana. Further north, it's all just plain snow. Heavy at times. Blizzard conditions are also possible. Five to ten inches of snow Forecasters expected. Forecasters are calling for another busy hurricane season. Three major hurricanes can be expected along with one making landfall. A total of 15 named storms. The question is, where will these storms strike? Humidity is 57 percent. The winds are pretty much nil at this point. Temperatures across the state very similar. Cool spots are still up into the northwest where they're, they had some early low clouds and fog, but it's since burned off, and they'll be warming up uh, quite a bit in the next couple Forecast for of the coast looks to have just a few showers, especially to the north. I think that's your best chance for some showers. 52 in Tillamook, 55 in Lincoln possible. City. The valley. Five to ten inches of snow expected in Chicago overnight tonight into tomorrow morning, and up to a foot of snow or more across the lakefront areas of Michigan. I'll have all the details about how much snow you can expect at your house coming up in 10 minutes. Good evening, I'm meteorologist Adam Bell and we had a great day out there today. High temperatures were in the lower 80s. Not much in the way of cloud cover either, just a gorgeous day all around and right now we're still seeing those lower 80s in a couple locations, 82 in Lakeland, Orlando you're at 81, upper 70s in Melbourne at 77 degrees. Tonight I do expect some cooling down to around 60 with some areas of fog possible, especially after midnight, 60 in Tampa, 59 in Land Lakes, upper 50s in Brooksville as well. Now what's causing all this nice warm weather? High pressure is dominating and that's what's going to continue for at least the next couple of days. Unfortunately though, if you don't like the humid weather, don't stick around for the next couple of days. The good news is we do have some relief on the way finally coming in with a cold front that's going to bring a chance of showers by about midweek and then much cooler weather behind it. Unfortunately, we have another warm day to deal with tomorrow, 81 in Tampa, 82 in Brandon. Humidity is going to stick around as well, so it's going to be sticky as you head out for the afternoon, 82 in Arcadia. Across the southeast tonight, it's going to be a very mild evening down south near 70, mid 40s up near up to our north in Tallahassee, but no real cold air to be found. Across the southeast tomorrow for those who are traveling, another nice day, 62 in Atlanta, 64 in Charlotte. Across the Midwest, we do have quite a bit of snow to deal with right now from Chicago up to Milwaukee. They can expect five to seven inches of snow tonight into tomorrow, and this will quickly march eastward toward the northeast for tomorrow afternoon. Winds across the uh, waters tonight, southeast five to ten knots. Bays, the seas will be one to two feet. Your bay temperature around 62 degrees. Your 6 a.m. forecast, about 60 degrees with some areas of fog out there. It'll be warming up nicely in the afternoon with an 81 degree high. Once again, the humidity is going to stick around. Your 7 day forecast, we're going to start out with that mild weather and then that relief comes through on Wednesday, bringing some much cooler weather behind it, leading into a gorgeous weekend for your weekend with highs right around 70 degrees. That's your latest forecast. Back to you.